Boys and girls, I see that you're learning about heat transfer today, and I can see balloons on each table. And underneath your balloon, I see a candle. Is that candle lit? Yes. It is. I would expect by now that your balloon would pop with a lit candle underneath it. Why isn't your balloon popping? Because it has water in it. Oh, it has water. Let's get closer to that again. Oh, I do see a little water in there. So, Yaneli, what kind of heat transfer is fire? Radiation. That's radiation. So we have radiant heat there. But when the heat hits the balloon in the water, what kind of heat transfer is that? When it hits the balloon. What did, what did you say, Tyler? Conduction. Tyler said conduction. So we have radiant heat that goes from the flame to the balloon, and then the balloon conducts heat from the solid of the rubber itself to the water inside the balloon. So is the water taking on most of the heat? What do you think would happen if there wasn't any water in the balloon? It would have popped. It would pop? Yeah. How long do you think it would take Two until seconds. it would pop? Two seconds. Two seconds? Let's find out. I've got a balloon with water right here. I can see the water level. I'm going to take this balloon off, and I'm going to put on a balloon that doesn't have any water. So here's the balloon. This one doesn't have any water in it. Let's see how long it lasts. Not very long. Not very long, but over here, I have my balloon that has just a little bit of water on the bottom. I can see it down there. And, well, my candle went out here. Let's come over here to table one. Table one, I can see your balloon, and it's over a lit candle. Gabby, can you see the candle touching the balloon there? Yes. Gabby, why doesn't the balloon pop? Because it has water in it. It has water in it, so the heat is traveling to the water, isn't it? Yeah. So, fourth graders are learning about conduction, radiation, and convection. Way to go, you guys. Good job.